it's another adorable episode on let's discuss on gist tv you know how we do it on this platform we get to bring to you some odd topics you know trending you know on 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 socials on finance economics government health and the likes even entertainment you know there are no exceptions to the rules well today will be an exception we are going to be talking about something really really nice that is trending on all social media you know for the past few days if not weeks now well you know how we do it uh let me introduce my co-host well as you have said welcome once again to let's discuss with your favorite host i remember myself the olamide and a brief view about let's discuss if you are new on the channel please subscribe yeah, we discuss trending issues, topics on politics, entertainment, just name it. And today is going to be an, it's not going to be an exception. We'll be discussing something that is rampant on the social media. It is about the woman from Kwara State, Lauren to be precise. Yes. Mrs. Risikat Abdulwasiu, the woman with the blue eyes who got chased out of her home by her husband because she has a blue eyes and her children, her daughters have blue eyes too. Well, before we delve deep into this topic, let's just go on a very short musical break. We'll be back shortly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ah, only social media la TV. In bitter to call you more on sofa when you become a mewa address and note a dim a quillory. Titi titi to a para a jay de quillory. Ah, only the candy can come by me one cacama king wa de bed for a man. And I could say, oh, what I'm born. Era ko so ko ta ngbo ti won fi pe yin na ni tori agbo se yin na la ri social media oju ijo ra won boti e da ko wa fun le ri tumo ni ko je ni 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 <laughs> you are welcome from that very short break that we just went on. Mm -hmm. Now let's delve deeply into the topic of Mrs. Risikat Abdul Wasil, who got chased out by her husband mm -hmm. just because she has a blue eyes and her children have blue eyes. And her family said they cannot live with her because she has a blue eyes. Akrizi, what do you see to this? You know, l l let me start from where you actually stopped. Okay. The fact that you said her family cannot live with her yeah. because she's blue eyed. Yeah. Uh, I think there is, there is a level of illiteracy to these things. In now, quotes. In quotes. You know, we, we have, we have uh, uh, folks from different parts of the world. Yeah, sure. We have the Negroids. You know, Caucasians yeah. and the likes. The Caribbeans. Yeah, Caribbeans and the likes. Now, we, we know that even in Nigeria, mm -hmm. not all folks, not all uh, patriots in Nigeria are black eyed. Sure. We've got brown eyed. We've got yellow. Yeah, varieties. Now, this woman was gifted natural. This is a natural cause. <laughs> she even said she's the first person to have this eye in her family. And obviously, from what I've actually heard and read, mm -hmm. she's the first. In Nigeria, that I've actually heard mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. being blue eyed, especially American, is very, very rare, especially uh, African, rather. Yeah, yeah, it's very chocolate rare. of being a Nigerian <laughs> called black core, a pure breed of African, mm -hmm. Bla uh, blue eyed is really, really rare, and there's no big deal about it. Now, talking uh, uh, from, from the biological side of it, okay, it's just she's lacking melanin, that's just it. The, the fact that we are black means I have melanin yeah, in my the skin. Melanin in our and we have different types of melanin. So some will make you yellow, some will make you brown, some will make you black. The, that, that's just it. And we have it in the eyes, in the brains, and other parts of the body too. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I have melanin in my eyes make my pupil black. No, the, and the fact that she's actually lacking melanin or melanocytes that produce melanin. That is just it. That is the only thing that makes the eye blue. <laughs> so there's no big... I see, I think this is... Being illiterate, the fact that you said her husband chased her out yeah. of the house. 
But you, to me, mm -hmm. I feel these people, they are being too hypocritical and also our culture is affecting them. Mm -hmm. They believe, okay, they cannot live with this kind of person. This kind of, this kind of person is spiritual. This woman also said that when she was young, mm -hmm. that nothing really happened to her. She went to school, but she got discriminated against in school when she was in school. That her friends and colleagues in school bullied her. And her parents took her to the University of Illinois Teaching Hospital. Yeah. But the doctor said nothing went wrong with the yeah. eyes. She's perfect. Same thing happened to her children. But her children were able to, you know, associate with people. She said she gave birth to her first daughter. She was, she's still around. She's still alive. Mm -hmm. Then she gave birth to another set of twins. A boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. The boy later died as a result of birth complications. Mm -hmm. She said right from the time she gave birth to her second child, that is the twins, mm -hmm. her husband stopped taking care of them. These guys stopped, Mr. Wasu Aziz, stopped giving them money for food. She said she spent all her business money, all the profit she made on her business, on her pharmaceutical business, she spent everything on feeding. That she could not take care of the boy child and the boy died as a result of health complications. Mm -hmm. But the husband, when contacted, this guy said he married her because of her blue eyes. This guy said he married her because of her blue eyes and he can never chase her out because of the blue, blue eyes. This guy said she just, she left his house because, uh, I don't know, maybe he's not taking care of her like that. So this guy said he never chased her out of the house. But this woman said even before she left this guy's house, it was her parents that brings food for her and the children. Her parents bring food for them, brings money for them. She said her children cannot go to school because she lacks the capability to fund them in school. You know, that, that is the issue we have with families. Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, 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 if in an argument, no one will uh, want to claim of being, probably being guilty or anything. Yeah, sure. Now, the husband we claim is actually doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And also, the wife we claim She's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Now we know that Risikat Aigbami Abdul Wasil, the wife of uh, Abdul Wasil Jimo Aziz, in that hailed from Ilorin State, uh, from Kwara State, Ilorin to be exact. She's in her mid twenties, late twenties per se. She she has two daughters, yeah. uh, Azanat and Kausarat per se. Uh, Kausarat is the elder sister, and mm -hmm. of course Azanat is the younger sister. Yeah. Of course twins though, but the uh, male died. During, uh, during health complications yeah. where, when they were young. Now, the fact that this, this family, they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are gifted, because these features is actually re very, very rare. Yeah. Now, it was reported that a, a, a woman, Alabi Rukayat, went to Iloni, her uh, hometown, during the Ileya festival, the yeah. health celebration, and she saw these siblings. She was like, wow, these girls are beautiful. Because when I saw the pictures, I was like, damn, yeah, they are some, be some, some slay mamas out there are looking for uh, uh, contact, lenses. contact lens just to look like them. Jesus Christ, these girls are beautiful. So she took their picture and put it on social media and explained their ordeal, you know, what they are facing and stuff. And what popular photographer, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Moyo, uh, Muyiwa, went to Ilone just to find this mm -hmm. woman and her kids. Now, she took, uh, he took pictures and put it on his social media and do. And of course, folks, you know, in users on Instagram and Twitter, social media platforms, they were really, really <laughs> amazed. They were ghosts like, damn, these, these girls are beautiful. Yeah. Now, they, they became the talk of the town. Now, to the extent we are by uh, top-notch dignitaries in, in Nigeria, the likes sure. of the, the wife of uh, the ex-governor of Kwara State, mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Tony Saraki, she went there to, you know, to greet them. She even gave them things. She yeah. gave them cash, 250000 okay. in her cash. She, she even, you know, she, she supports them and care for them. And of course, the first lady of Kuara State, she went there to give them 250000 era. And in, in, uh, in furtherance of, uh, of her good gestures, she also said uh, uh, she's going to give them scholarship. A school uh, scholarship, you know, yeah. one of the best schools in Kwara in, State. And this school is actually meant for the millionaires. <laughs> it is for the hellites. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, I think social media have actually helped a lot of people. Sure. You know, just to, to, to make, but I, I believe what, what will be, will be. Mm -hmm. And when this, uh, the husband was called to give an explanation of why he left, he said he didn't leave that. He, he even married Scott <laughs> because of her blue eyes. So I, I was thinking too, like, when you, if this woman claims that 
your husband actually left because of the blue eye. Didn't he see you when you when you he wanted that, to that, marry that you? That's where the issue of family comes in. Mm -hmm. According to Risi Kat, she mm -hmm. said her fa the man's family instigated that she leaves, that they cannot live with her and the children with the blue eyes. They cannot live with them. Are they living together in the same house? I, I believe she said the man sent them to meet his parents. You know, that, you understand? Is, that, that is the problem with family. You cannot, you cannot be sure. You can never... Do you understand? Exactly. So, according to this woman, this woman said, whenever Mr. Abdul was you, as he is coming to visit the children, mm -hmm. he only comes with nothing but bobo to give the children. He doesn't give them money. He doesn't give them anything. If the man is, you know, if this man is caring enough, mm -hmm. if he's responsible enough, he would have enrolled the children in school. Okay, on the other hand, I, I believe if the man is actually able and he has the capability of you know, mm -hmm. doing that, I think he would. Now, he, he, he made mention, when he was interviewed by Vanguard, he made mention of something that when, when they gave birth to their second uh, uh, child, mm -hmm. uh, children per se, the boy actually died. So le let me say uh, the child, as an act, he said things were really, really tough and they can't even feed talkless of sending these kids to school. Mm -hmm. Now, he said when, the, when these two kids were actually sick, he sold his land with the building on top. He sold so many of his properties and it was really, really down. And even at the end of the day, the boy died. So he said he was really, really down and frustrated. But still, that doesn't, that's the, that doesn't back up the fact that he left his family. Well. And now the, this family came to limelight and you are showing up that you are, you are somebody. He, he, that man needs to be punished. That's actually the point. <laughs> exactly. Because why is it that when... People who you know rally, rallied around this woman mm -hmm. that you now showed up. That's the point. That's actually the point. But now I believe the woman has been vindicated. Mm -hmm. She's now the sign of all eyes. She's a figure who people now look up to, like, oh, who is this woman? People have been seeing the pictures on the social media, and that's actually the power, the effective power of social media. Mm -hmm. So people have been seeing the pictures, oh, beautiful. And people have been coming to their aid. Mm, sure, sure. As of now, I believe when school resumes. Mm -hmm. These children will be enrolled in one of the biggest schools in Kwara State. Sure. And this woman has uh, a little cash to hold on to. Of course. Probably of course. to establish herself in business mm -hmm. or something. So now, well, things will turn out for good for the woman. But despite the fact that they've been persuading this woman to go back to her husband, she said she can never go back. She even said she cannot have the surgery to change her eyes, that she, she likes it that way. <laughs> yeah, she, she, according to what she said when she took her children to the hospital, the, a lot of doctors were snapping pictures with these children. And even children. giving them gifts. Yes. To take home that there's nothing wrong with their eyes. They are very, very good. It's just God's wonderful creation. That's, that's it. I believe it's as a result of illiteracy. Well, now you all know about the issue of Risi Cat and mm -hmm. her children and the updates going on. Well, if there's any new development about this woman, mm -hmm. we pledge to give you in total as this is less discussed. Do well to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all social media. You'll have me on the score. Till next time, I love you guys. Follow me on all social media platforms at Isa Cruzy and subscribe. Till next time, peace.